Are you ever confused by the world and the people in it and how things work? It's crazy. So let's see if we can make some sense of it, where you have some control. That's my interest. I've got some control in my life. And I live a, a life that's really free. But I've just hit an understanding of the world somehow. I just kind of fell into it and it all started making sense. No one beats their child or their wife if they're not confused. You know, confusion is the only suffering that I can find in this world. The only suffering. So what we're doing here today is we're looking at our confusion, not the world's. We're looking at our confusion. So let's, let's hear yours again. My dad shouldn't hit me or my sisters. Okay. And did he do it? Yes. So is it true he should not hit you? Yes, it is. It is? And did he do it? Yeah. That's the reality of it. How do I know that he should hit you? He did. He did. Yes. So this doesn't mean it's right or wrong. I mean, anyone that hits their kid may have a problem. Okay? Yeah. But we're just looking at the past mm -hmm. and what is it. It happened. That's, that's what he does. So how does it feel when you attach to the thought he should not hit children? It and makes, he does it. It makes me violent. Yes. And then what do you do? I, I usually tend to react in the wrong ways. Yes. And what do those ways, those ways look like? <laughs> not very good. Not, not very pretty sight, huh? And there you are, like someone else, living like this violent man. And have you ever thought, what am I doing here? You know, mm -hmm. I have, but not too extensively. Yeah. Yeah, we just go on with our violence. So, how does it feel when you attach to that thought and you're violent? Oh, no, it hurts. So, can you see a reason to drop the thought? Yeah. Can you see one reason that is not stressful to keep it? Hmm. No. Not really. Yeah. So who would you be without this thought? Probably be a better person. Yeah. You could be one that notices when your father's becoming angry that walks. Well, I don't live with my dad anymore. Yeah. So. Well, you know, there are a lot of... Con there, there, we may encounter other violent people. But I know that when I'm not angry and violent, I make better decisions. So who would you be without this thought, you know, maybe a little more mentally clear or a lot more aware? Yeah. So um, um, fathers should not hit the children. Turn it around. I should not hit other people. Yes. Exactly so. You live it. Have you ever hit anyone? Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're, you're on one hand... <laughs> saying that he should not hit, and then you're doing it. So you're living with some confusion here. And you know, your father may not ever stop hitting people. And there's nothing you can do about that. Have you noticed? Yes. Nothing. But you can live that turnaround. You wanted him to do it. You wanted him to stop. The only thing you have power over is yourself. Yeah. So you live the turnaround, and you don't have to live like your father and hit children. Okay. So let's um, let's look at yours. Honey. My cousin should shouldn't have committed suicide. Okay. What's the reality of it? Did he? He did. Then that's what's true. He did. We don't like it, and that's what is. So. We're going to first learn to look at reality, and you've already got that one down. So he shouldn't kill himself. Can you really know that that's true in the long term? What is the reality of it? 
Kind of. He did it in a pretty violent way. Yeah. So he should not kill himself in a violent way. Is that true? What's the reality of it? It is true whether I like it or not. Exactly so. Welcome to reality. That's what is. Do you think there's anything that anyone could do to change it? No. It's done. What is, is. That's it. Okay. I like to say I'm a lover of reality. And the only reason I'm a lover of reality is I can't do anything about it. And when I argue with it, I can't sleep. I'm angry. I'm confused. And I'm frightened. And also, I think I could be next, you know. So how does it feel when you attach to that thought he should not have committed suicide violently? How do I feel about it? How does it feel when you attach to that thought, when you have that thought? Angry. Angry. And then how do you treat other people when you attach to that thought and you're angry? Well, if they talk about it, I get really upset. Really upset. So I want to ask you something. Can you see a reason to drop this story that would argue with reality? And I'm not asking you to drop it. Can you see a reason to drop the story my cousin should not have committed suicide violently? A reason to drop it? Yes. To drop the thought. I'm not asking you to drop it. That's not what this work is about. I'm always going to remember it. Yes. I, I don't want to drop it. Again? I don't want to drop it. You don't want to drop it. So give me a benefit for keeping it. Remember the good times we had. Okay. So if you drop that thought, you would not remember the good times. Is that true? Well, if I drop the whole thought of... No, just the thought he should not have committed oh. suicide violently. Yeah, I that should that drop one. that thought. Just that one. Can you see a reason to drop that one? Yeah. Yeah, I can too. It's very painful. Can you see one reason that is not stressful to keep it? No. Not one? It's stressful. Not one reason. I mean, just one reason to keep it that is not stressful. No. Not really. I couldn't. I can't either. I got to tell you, I can't either. So who would you be in your life without that thought? If you never had it again. Uh -huh. Interesting, isn't it? Maybe someone who's not so angry. I don't know. So my cousin should not have killed himself. Turn it around. And the way we can turn it around, there are several ways you can turn it around. And if you get this, it'll become automatic with you. And life can become a, a lot of fun, believe it or not. So my cousin should not kill himself. How would you turn it around if you put your name on it? Like I. I shouldn't have committed suicide. Yeah. My cousin should not commit suicide. I should not commit suicide. Live that. Live that. And what I found in my life is that every time I mentally go into my husband's business, my cousin's business, mentally, it's like it's as though I've committed suicide. It's as though... I'm angry. It doesn't feel like me. And I treat other people that way, too. So what we see here is you live that. You know, how do you commit suicide in your life? For one thing, mean mentally in your cousin's business. There's no life in it. Just anger when you think that thought. Let's look at I want. Oh, my cousin, come back. Okay, turn it around. 
screen and turn around. I want me. I want me to come back. Yeah, you come back. I mean, you bury yourself in the grave with him how many times a day? You come back. You think he should come back? You try it. My cousin is. Or my cousin, yeah, my cousin is. And fill in the blanks. My cousin is dead. My cousin is dead. Turn it around. I'm dead. I'm dead when I'm mentally in my cousin's business. There's no one here for you. Keep going to the grave. Come back. You see, just turn it around. You want him back. Don't you want you back the way it was before you had this thing going? Yeah. Yeah. Good, honey. So can you think of some other wants spontaneously around your cousin? I want the memories back. Yeah. I want him to keep going. I want him to keep going. Want, want my memories to keep going. Good. Well, you have it. And without this thing about he should not have committed suicide, that's what's left, the good times. Just simple. But you start thinking of the good, beautiful times, and then you go to the death. You see? So just smile at that. Just say, is that true? And then come back to the good times. See if it works. The turnaround. Just play with the turnaround for a while. Okay, hey, um, people should do what they say they're going to do. Oh, does, is that beginning to sound like Santa Claus is coming? I don't know. So, do people always keep their word? No. No, no. Is there anyone here who has not lied? I don't see me raising my hand. We don't keep our word, sweetheart. We don't. I and know. we all do our best. Mm -hmm. So is it true people should keep their word? Well, yeah, but it's oh, just not that way. On what planet? Yeah, I mean, that's it's true that they should keep it, but they don't, so that's the reality of it. That's the reality of it. And, and we shouldn't keep our word yet. We're not that advanced on this planet. <coughs> it's not time, obviously, because no one's doing it. I know. So people should not break their word. Turn it around. I should not break my word. Live that. Which I try. I try to. Well, so do we. But I don't. I, I break my word, too. But some people just like breaking their word for the fun of it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Turn it around. Like, you know, staff around here, they're all pretty cool, but a lot of them break their word. They That's promise. their job. I know. Yeah. And they like it. Well, yeah. Turn it around. <laughs> We're human, just like you. So you try your best, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the possibility that we're trying our best, too. Don't seem like it. Well, of course not. Because well, you're, you're, you're the one not getting what you want. When they, you know, they tell you they like breaking their word to you. They're not trying. <laughs> Sweetheart, can you really know that that's true? No, I can't. Yeah. So it's it's something to look at, isn't it? Yeah. And how do you treat staff? And how does it feel inside of you? I treat them real good. <laughs> <laughs> Please, thank you. When you attach to the thought that they're supposed to keep their word. Well, behind their backs, you know. <laughs> I'm mad at them, but to their face, uh, you know, I'm a little angel. <laughs> So, honey, this internal world that you're living, <laughs> that's what this works about, this internal wor world that you're living. Like, you act nice, but inside of you, you know, you um, could be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. So that internal world, that's what I'm talking about mm -hmm. here, where you don't have to live disappointed. Yeah. Like, I trust the world one hundred percent and I never let down do you absolutely honey I don't yeah well of course you don't you know that's what I'm doing here you know yeah. but I can tell you is I trust the world 100 percent to tell the truth or not I yeah. trust them 100 percent to uh, keep the word or break the word oh yeah 
Yeah. I trust that they'll do that. Yeah. Right on time, perfectly. Yeah. I feel like there's someone running this show, something running this show that is brilliant. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. And when someone breaks their word to me, if I've got a problem with it, I need to look at me. Because mm-hmm. it's not possible to be the teacher of the world of how to do it right when I don't even know myself. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> yeah, you're the one you live with, sweetheart. I know. Yeah, so hopefully the staff will keep breaking their word till you get this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. When when anyone can break their word to you and mm-hmm. and you understand. Yeah. Then you got it together. As I do. Understand. Yeah. Because a lot of people, you know, they don't do it on purpose. They just forget. Well, you know, probably everyone. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, everyone, even yeah. myself. I We're promise, like my parents, a lot of things, you know. So, like, clean something. I don't. Yeah. So, yeah. But, Sounds just like stuff. Yeah. You know? Sounds just like the whole world. We're all doing the best we can. <laughs> yeah. 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 What fun, huh? What? What fun. Yeah. You had to kind of look at the world and look at yourself and, and find some understanding where it's not yeah. so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are some of you starting to put it together that when you attach to the thought that that's where your stress comes from, that it's not the past? Are you getting it? It's not the past. It's your story of of the past. It's that thought you're attached to. That's where your anger is coming from and your frustration. And when you do that, you do some really weird things that can bring you back to this place. And that's what we're dealing with here. You know, if, if this is how you want to live your life, you're on the right track. But if you want to do something else with your life, this is a tool that you'll be able to use always. Some of you are so used to pain, you don't even know what it is to live without it. You know, because confusion, confusion. And the world is a very confused place to live in, you know. So what I say is, can I just end my own confusion? Can I find some peace here? Mine's that my mother should make bad choices. Okay. And is that true? What's the reality of it? That she does. She makes bad choices. That's it. So how do you treat her when you attach to to that story and she makes bad decisions? It's kind of like I expected her to do it wrong. Like... So you treat her how? Like she doesn't know what she's doing. So you treat her like your child and you're the parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the scolding that goes with it. And how do you scold? Do you give her the look? I just don't do what she asked me to do. So you become, um, what's the word for that? Again? Again, disobedient and um, cold, separate. How does it feel to treat her that way? I don't like to make her mad. Yeah. So, how does it feel? It makes me feel, I don't know, sad, like she's just mad at me. Yeah. Yes, honey. Can you see a reason to drop the story, mothers should not make bad decisions? Yes. Can you see a reason that is not stressful to keep that story? Who would you be without the story with your mother making a bad decision? I'd probably be a lot happier. You could be someone giving her a great big fat kiss and laughing. You know, this judgment thing is rough and it separates us. When, isn't all you're trying to do is love her? Isn't that why you want her to make the right decisions? I mean, that's all we're doing here. We just don't know how to do it. So, 
My mother should not make bad decisions. Turn it around. I shouldn't make bad decisions. Yeah, especially about your mother. She's going to make some bad decisions. She's going to make some good decisions. And as long as you think that when you notice that you're doing your number on her, that's the time you can clean it up really fast and say, you know, Mom, I'm acting like the father again. Or, you know, Mom, I'm doing something right now that's really hurting me. And I really want to stop it. You know? And that's how you live the turnaround. Because you're making a bad decision when you make the decision to punish her, to teach her. Yeah, you know, my children make some really interesting decisions. And i got to say they're doing as well as I am. We're all doing the best I can. But if I go into teaching my children or my husband or my mother, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right from here. I'd just rather, you know, just love them. Because that's what it's all about anyway. So I just cut all the pain in this investigation. So live the turnaround, sweetheart, because it's not the world telling you how to live anymore. The turnaround is telling you how to live, you telling you. Good. Thank you, honey. So let's take a look. People shouldn't think that they're all knowing with lack Good. of experience. Good. So is that true? You're describing the whole world. We do that. I know I am. Yeah. Isn't that? It's, it's hopeless. That is a hopeless thought. And haven't you noticed that no matter what you do, we just keep doing it? So how does it feel when you attach to what I call this lie that would argue with reality? It's as though that's the job of humans to say, oh, I understand. I know what you're talking about. You know, I, I know what you're thinking. I know. Hopeless. So how does it feel when you attach to that thought that we shouldn't think we know you? It's frustrating. And how do you treat us when you attach to that thought and you're frustrated? I get angry. And then what? Either I blow up or I calm myself down. Yep. And how does it feel when you blow up? And we still keep doing it. <laughs> Horrible. So can you see a reason to drop this, this like Santa Claus Easter Bunny concept? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you see one reason that's not stressful to keep it? No. Who would you be without this? A less angry person. Yeah. You'd be very understanding with us and a much calmer listener. You'd be like a listener that could see how <laughs> misguided we are and maybe experience the compassion that would go with it. Do you know in our 40s, our 50s, our 60s, we're so confused? But you can know. At your age, you can have more, you can utilize more wisdom than we'll ever tap into. Who would you be without this story that we're not supposed to be the all-knowing? Just a calmer person. Yeah. So, we're not supposed to be the all-knowing. Turn it around. I should try and be all-knowing. Yeah. Like, you're the all-knowing that we shouldn't be the all-knowing. You see? It's, it's like you're being the very thing that you resent us for. And this is innocence. You know, it's just that we didn't recognize it. So have fun with this, sweetheart. You may be one that just falls into this inquiry and has a really good time. You know, there's nothing more fun than taking the inward journey. <laughs> The outward journey is not a lot of fun because we can't control it. You get the perfect job, they fire you. You know, you get the, 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 the perfect um, relationship going and they leave you. 
It's rough out there, you know. But when you know it's all your thinking and you know how to inquire, it's over, i got to tell you. And it just gets more exciting. Okay, thank you, Lenny. So, sweetheart, let's take a look. I want freedom. Okay, is that true? Yes, it is. It is. Well, what did you do to get here? Messed up. Yeah, well, what did you do? Uh, violated probation. Yeah, so what did you think would happen if you got caught? I'd be in a lockup facility. Yeah, so you want freedom. Is that true? No. No, sometimes, you know? So uh, it's really nice to, you know, I want freedom. Is it true? To really stop and think it out. Yes. Yeah. And then when, uh, if it comes to you to break parole, I want freedom. Is it true? Yeah. So just, you know, you may just make another choice. Yeah, the self-awareness thing, you know, only you can put you here.